What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we are looking at the TF457, the Why So Serious Joker knife. This one is the green blade purple handle. This one actually looks better than any of the rest of them, personal preference of course, but let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. All right, I've had this thing for a while. Been wanting to do a review on it. I actually got a fake one in the mail, and then I ordered another one of these. So I actually have both of them, and I'm going to put out a video and show y'all the difference in the fake one and this one. But heads up, the fake one might be a little bit better, believe it or not. So let me go ahead and give you a close-up on this handle. Now, right here, it is an aluminum handle right here. Nothing much to it, just two purple aluminum platings. You do have a simple little liner lock right there in the middle. Closes pretty good. Right there, you do have a pocket clip. Now, it's just going to be, let's see, it'll be a tip-up pocket clip. No glass breaker or anything on the top. This is just going to be a quick flipper, as you can see from it, is that that's the only, no nail nicks, no thumb studs, you know, thumb releases or anything like that. You're just going to be able to flip it open like that. So it's just, I think they call it the Speedster model. Boom, single hand deployment and single hand close. Doesn't seem to be a problem. The only, I guess, issue that you would have on a simplistic knife like this would be your trigger right there and or your flipper rather. But you see that? It's almost like, like if they had to point the arrow. But by doing that, it doesn't allow much room for your finger to get on that flipper to flip it open. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not too crazy about that part of it. Now, right here, you do just have a spear point blade. Joker, why so serious? You might not can read that anymore on there. Yeah, but why so serious down there on the bottom of it? And it is just a single blade spear point. Should still have a sharp tip on it. But that's it right there, guys. And speaking of the blade, let's go ahead and let's go see how sharp this blade really is. All right, let's check out the sharpness on this thing real quick. So right here on the straight down cut, actually catches fine. But as you can see, as it started working its way down, there are a few tears on there. Let's try it at an angle. Angle seems to do a little bit better mild rips there but your angle cut seems to do a lot better now given it is a spear point this thing should be pretty sharp let's check it out minimal push but it doesn't go very far once you get in you seem to have a little bit cleaner cuts but you definitely throw this thing on a sharpener and you can actually have a pretty cool sharp knife you know still pretty sharp i've yet to even sharpen this thing i haven't used it a whole lot i've just had it and it's of course you can tell with the aluminum handle, it's kind of chipping off a little bit, but it's been in a box of just other knives, you know, banging around. However, you know, for a little flipper like this, it is super lightweight, you know, and, and you know, it's a why so serious joker knife. You know, it's a fun knife that you're going to get, and it actually is rather large, but super lightweight. So let's go ahead, let's check that out, and let's go get the weight and measurements. All right, let's get the weight on this thing real quick. So, right off the bat, right at four ounces. So, definitely going to be on the heavier side of things right there. But, let's just make sure. With the open blade, the blade is going to be three and a half inches with a total length of eight inches. So, not too bad on the weight right there. And then, fully closed, we are going to be looking at four and a half inches inches guys with it closed so four and a half inch pocket knife eight inches total right there but the weight measurements for this larger knife is still not too bad yes yeah, actually on the lighter side of things you know mtech has the stone wash right here and you know as you can tell the difference in the mtex and the tack forces is one of them is a stone wash which i actually like the stone wash a little bit better but they actually added a glass breaker right there on the end of theirs and instead of aluminum handle it is a all stainless steel handle and you can definitely tell so you know sharpness the blades you know you're not going to get much difference out of them but the weight on that MTech compared to this one 
is so much heavier. Now, in the pocket, this one's probably going to be a lot better because it doesn't have that glass breaker on the end. You know, it does seem to have a beefy pocket clip. It sits kind of low. I feel like you could have moved it up a little bit more. And I will show y'all this right here, the lanyard hole on it. Be careful if you want to put it like on, you know, put a wrist strap on it because it's pointless. This entire lanyard hole right here, it's, it's not going to work for you because if I were to put one in there right now, my blade won't be able to open. And if I have it open tied on there, I'm just going to cut it right in half. So kind of a pointless little lanyard hole thing right there. So, you know, it could be a safety hat, but then again, they didn't have to put the hole in it. So I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe just these mass produced in this one just screwed up, which I don't believe that is the case. However, let's go check out the pocket clip and let's go see what this thing looks like in the pocket. All right, let's see how this thing does in the pocket. So right over here on the close up. Bam. Little tight, beefy pocket clip on it. Does sit far out of your pocket, so I'm not too crazy about that. But with that short pocket clip, the concealed side of it doesn't seem to be too bad. The print on it, it is a good bit of print, so try to keep it to the back side of your pocket. And with the pullout right there, doesn't seem to be too bad. The trigger is right there, and you are good to go. Well, there you have it, guys. Not too bad in the pocket. And if y'all want to go check this knife out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And be sure to check us out on the weekends where we give knives away, just like this, during the live streams. I'll jump on here, talk a bunch of crap, and I give away some knives every now and then. But hit the bell if you want to be alerted when that happens. I'm rambling, guys. Got to get out of here. But thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next one.